Hello, I'm Maddie, and today I'm outside the John Innes Centre, which is an amazing institution for plant and microbial science awesomeness. And I'm joining the Year 10 Science Camp 2016. <laughs> this week, the students get to find out what it's like to be a scientist. But what is a scientist? A very recluse person, kind of like. Dull and serious. Serious. Mm. Probably assume it's quite a boring job. Old. Too old. Maybe sleep deprived. <laughs> when I was younger, I thought exactly the same, but the John Innes Centre is doing everything they can to change this perception. And in this week, the students are going to try jobs from different research institutes to get a sense of what being a scientist is really like. And one of the first things they're doing is learning all about drones. Drones are proving vital to scientific research and here they're being used to monitor huge expanses of wheat crops. In the past, scientists may have spent days walking up and down fields of wheat, looking and taking samples of different crops. But now, all they need to do is send a drone up and have everything they need in just 15 minutes. This is so useful for scientists, but also it's really fun and it's opened up this whole new exciting world of data collection. Right, next up, we're going to the lab. The students have just been asked to cough into a dish of agar jelly and then they're going to wait a few days and see what cultures grow. So guys, this is the one that I coughed in uncovered. And now this time I'm coughing in this one, but I'm covering my mouth. Yeah. Stay away because I don't want to <laughs> Nice. <laughs> For an organism that's supposed to be simple, most people think a bacteria is just something that makes a blob of goo on a plate. They have the most sophisticated lifestyle, they have the most complex structures, they produce the weirdest and most vivid colours. They are beautiful. <laughs> yeah. They will never stop being beautiful. This isn't new to you, you see them every day, no, but you no, still I, enjoy it. It still makes me smile to this day. It always has done. I've come to the Rare Books reading room, which is just incredible. Some of the illustrations in these botany books are beautiful. For the archivists that work inside this room, they all use a lot of these rare reading books as part of outreach programmes or for exhibitions. And this is another example of the type of job you could have at a scientific research centre that you might never have thought of. Next, let's move on from old school illustrations to new age bioimaging. That includes SEM or scanning electron microscopy. And in here, we are learning how to take an image of an insect's head. Well, you've got to, um, well, it's got to be dead to start with. And then you, <laughs> you, cut, you, you cut its head off and you just stick it onto one of these stuffs. And then you, you coat it with a fine coating of gold. And then you put it in, into the microscope. I did image. think that these the, the bug heads looked um, a little bit blingy, shall I yes. say. That is the spider head. Whoa, incredible. Oh, look at the detail, look at yeah. the detail. So how long have you been doing this for? I've been doing this for four years now. Yeah, do you enjoy it? I love it. I zoom right in to see the hairs. Whoa! Oh my goodness me. From a scanning electron microscopy to ant farms. How large can a colony get? So these, these are called ants. and so these are the second most highly evolved in the tribe of the These get about 50,000 ants in a colony, but the atta, which are the big ones with the soldiers that can cut through your hand, they get about 5 million. Have you got bit much before? Yeah, because we, we do experiments with them. So Anna looks after the colonies and she cleans them out. And when she goes in there, she moves the fungus gardens around. She'll get swarmed with ants. I mean, literally, just all up her arms in her hair. It's pretty cool. The thing is, this is just a sample of all the incredible jobs out there at scientific research centres just like this one. When I was 15, I saw school subjects and jobs as pretty much the same thing, so I was just thinking, in the future I want to do history or English or science. But science was this big, scary, intimidating world that was shrouded in stereotypes. And I hope this video proves that if you're thinking about doing science in the future, that there will be a job out there for you. You just have to go and find it. So, after one week at Year 10 Science Camp, yeah, it's now going. What is a scientist? So, my perception of a scientist now is that they're really, really cool and really, really chill. Scientists are much more social than I thought they would be. It's a lot more relaxed 
and happy. This place is amazing and it's all high-tech and stuff. It's so nice to have such a diverse place and it's really enriching. This has really made me want to be a biologist when I'm older. Because I already love biology but now I love it even more. So. And that's it for this video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you check out all of the links in the description box below. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. Stay curious and I'll see you soon.